Welcome to Holly Sniper EFI Training Part 17. In this training module, we're going to be exploring working with our learned fuel correction. This is also known as the long-term fuel correction, and it's part of our closed-loop operation that we covered in our last tutorial. We have a lot to talk about here, so let's jump in and check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at working with our closed-loop fuel correction once again here within our Holly Sniper EFI systems. This tutorial, we're going to take a specific look at our learned correction also known as the long-term fuel trim correction. Now this is gonna be something that we can utilize to actually dial in our volumetric efficiency table after we do a driving cycle with our vehicle. We're gonna learn how we can take the data from the learn function and transfer it to our table and to make the appropriate update changes into our volumetric efficiency table. And then we're also gonna be learning all the ins and outs of some of the programming details for the learn function as well as taking a look at a data log example so we can see what this looks like in terms of our data, being able to read a data log and to interpret what this learn correction is actually doing. So let's jump in here and take a look at working within the programming for our learn correction. The very first thing we're going to do here is move up into our system ICF and we're gonna go here into our closed loop slash learn. Now in the last tutorial, we explored our closed loop parameters. The closed loop parameters are responsible for turning on the closed loop functionality and specifically in the last tutorial we had it toggled on here enable closed loop this allowed the closed loop compensation as we're finding if we toggle through our screens right here under the learn tuning the closed loop compensation was making a percentage of adjustment based on looking at our air fuel ratio and the desired target air fuel and it's going to have a certain percentage of correction that percentage of correction is going to be applied against our main fuel table here, and this is the main VE table. So depending on what we have our values dialed in here, it might be too rich, it might be too lean. The closed loop compensation takes a look at the base pulse width that's calculated from our table here, and it's gonna add a percentage of correction to the pulse width so that the actual air fuel matches the target air fuel, and that's all found within this closed loop functionality. Now the learn function take things a step further. It's gonna be taking this closed loop compensation and it's going to be storing it into a separate table that it can essentially build as we're driving over time. And it's going to take the closed loop compensation, let's say it's adding 10% or 5% or 20% in a certain area. It's going to absorb that into a table that's going to mimic the main field table here. And it's going to be applying a correction as a modifier just as we talked about with our temperature enrichment here, for example, coolant temp enrichment or air temp enrichment, this provides a percentage of modifier against coolant temp or air temp. The same idea as that will be stored into a three-dimensional table here in our learn table. This is going to be an offset correction factor against our base fuel table here, all populated and learned from what was going on within our closed loop, the closed loop compensation. So the closed loop compensation is our short-term adjustment as we're driving around over time, it will learn what that short term is changing at a particular area. And then it gets populated into our learn table here. So it's just as we're finding this table here is showing that we have to go in or it was going in and trimming a certain percentage of fuel based on what the closed loop compensation was doing at these various different ranges in the table. What you'll notice is that it mimics the exact cell points within our base fuel table as what we're finding in here to the learn table. So this is going to be a percentage of correction and the percentage of correction comes from learning what the closed loop comp or the short term adjustment is doing over time. Now it does take eight, 10, 20 minutes of driving to be able to populate a table out like this in order to get everything 100% so you have something to work from in order to populate out your table here. So the learn function doesn't immediately populate cell points, but it does learn relatively quick. And the more we drive our engine and the, the longer that drive cycle time and the more we vary through the gears and different RPM and load ranges, the more data points it's going to populate and the more it'll correct against this main fuel table. Now let's jump in here and take a look at how this is actually going to work. So jumping into our closed loop learn, We've discussed this in our closed loop learn, we typically want as we're starting off in our calibration process to have the limits here being 30 to 40% maximum. So I'll put it at 40%. We want to make sure that the closed loop is turned on because the learn function can't actually activate to do anything until the closed loop 
is actually activated. So we turn the closed loop function on, which allows the closed loop comp to turn on, which allows the percentage of it. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.